Most silicones are good dielectrics, which means they are great electrical insulators. Along with dielectric strength, there are several related properties that determines a material's electrical characteristics. The goal of this video is to define these properties and their impact on device performance. The first property we will discuss is volume resistivity. Volume resistivity is the resistance of a material to allow electricity to flow through it. It is the opposite of electrical conductivity. Volume resistivity is measured in units of ohm centimeters. Typically, silicones have volume resistivity values of 10 to the 14th to 10 to the 17th ohm centimeters. For most applications, good electrical insulation requires the volume resistivity to be above 10 to the 12th or at least 10 to the 8th ohm centimeters. In silicones, this property does not change significantly with humidity, water, or temperature exposure. This stability is far different than most other materials. The volume resistivity of polyurethanes, for example, drops with prolonged humidity exposure. The next property is surface resistivity. This is a measurement of the resistance of a material to allow electricity to flow over its surface. This is a less common measurement and is utilized in thin film applications such as conformal coatings. Values greater than 10 to the 8th ohms per square are typically considered acceptable. Dielectric strength is another very important and related property to resistivity, sometimes shortened to DS. This measures voltage where insulation fails and electricity flows through the material, also known as arcing. This property is also called dielectric breakdown voltage. Air, for example, has a dielectric strength of around 3 kilovolts per millimeter. Lightning occurs when the electrical charge in clouds overcomes the dielectric strength of air. Dielectric strength determines how thick an insulator should be between potential arc sources. Typical silicone values are from 13 to 22 kilovolts per millimeter or 330 to 550 volts per mil, or thousandths of an inch. Like resistivity, silicone dielectric strength values are much more stable to environmental exposure and cure conditions compared to most organic materials. Dielectric strength values increase when a material's thickness falls below a few tenths of a millimeter. It's important to be aware that not all TDSs disclose test sample thicknesses, leading to inaccurate comparisons between materials. The next dielectric property is dielectric constant, often shortened to DK, and also called relative permittivity. This is a unitless property that is a measure of how much electrical charge of a material can build up or store compared to air, and is directly proportional to capacitance. Typical dielectric constant values for silicones range from 2.5 to 3, and anything less than 3.5 is considered good for most applications. DK can vary with electrical frequency, and therefore it is common for TDSs to show values at two or more frequencies. Another common dielectric property is dissipation factor, often abbreviated as DF. This unitless property measures the energy loss the material causes when it is in an electrical field. It is particularly important in very high frequency applications, such as in the pathway of radar emissions. Typical dissipation factor values for silicones are less than 0.001 at frequencies below 1 GHz. Like dielectric constant, this property can vary with frequency, and values at two or more frequencies are typically shown in a TDS. Above 1 to 2 gigahertz silicones, like many materials, will start to absorb the electrical energy signal, and so they are not stable in the pathway of radar and other high-frequency applications. The final property we will mention is surface resistance, which is similar to surface resistivity. Surface resistance is a measure of how well a material will dissipate a static charge on its surface. Efficient dissipation requires a high level of conductivity, and silicones are electrically insulative. Because silicones are insulating, static charges can develop on their surfaces. 
Dow makes silicones with electrically conductive fillers that can eliminate surface charge. That covers the common dielectric properties reported for silicones. These properties show that silicones are very good dielectrics, or very good electrical insulators. Silicones also maintain these great properties over very wide temperature ranges and environmental exposures, especially compared to many organic alternatives.